But today, I would like to turn the tables a bit. Because on behalf of the women, I would like to pay tribute to our people, to the miners of this country, who have stood up and been counted in the fight not just to defend their jobs, their communities, and their union, but they have stood up and defended the dignity of the working class. been the line in many quarters, but not from here, because to hear some people, you would think they were creatures from outer space who had just descended, <coughs> but they're not. They're husbands and fathers, sons and brothers. They're wives, mothers and sisters, and we should be very proud of them too, because they are our frontline defenders against the war of oppression that has been thrust upon us by Thatcher and their Tory government. And you hear the Tories scream about the mass picketing. And I heard this recently in a debated time in Rio about all these mass pickets. And then at the same breath, the tells all the miners sitting at home wanting to go back to work. But they can't have it both ways. Because I think the truth of the matter is the sight of the working class standing together frightens the hell out of them. Yeah. Time through their allies, the media. But they know about violence because they're the masters of it. And since 1979, we have had a violent government pursuing violent policies against the working class and the community. And during the past nine months, we have experienced violence, violence from the state in its crudest form. It's not the truth. We've had the DHSS regulations that have robbed women and children of 15 pounds and then 15 pounds a week. Yeah. And that's responsible for the acute poverty that now exists amongst mining families. And we've seen the violence of the electricity boards who are demanding unreasonable payments in order to continue the supply. I've seen dozens of people in the last few weeks only these people with little children who come to me for help because they're under threat of having their electricity disconnected. That's violence in my room. And of course we've all seen the violence in the courts of the anti-trade union legislation, which no doubt your president <coughs> will be referring to later. But most horrific of all, we have seen and we have experienced the violence of the state police whose brutality will never be forgotten and never forgiven. Yeah. My own Felicia Ketton has played an unwilling host to hundreds of police. That's if you can call them police. Because to me, some of them are no more than animals in uniform. They are strike-breaking. And I'll never forget the horrible sight of hundreds of police lined up at Eppleton when the first scout went in there. It really is quite a disgusting sight. And I'll never forget walking along with the women in my support group and every police van that passed, we got that from them. 
that's the content we got from the police. And I won't ever forget being arrested a few weeks ago. Now I don't suppose there's many people in this hall who have been arrested during this <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> Believe you. Uh, and have you noticed when the police arrest you, they automatically think you can't walk anymore? <laughs>
come from the national leaders of my party. You'll never achieve office because you'll have lost your credibility. Yeah. 